when we talk of species, when we talk of watermelon species, when we talk of other species, do you know it is among the biggest factor when it comes to farming? Do you know only that it's not in books, it's among the factor of crop production, species? And having a, a small space or having um, a space that uh, your crops are fighting for space and are fighting for water is not the best, is, is not the best thing. I've been training farmers, I've been telling them that for you to be able to achieve a good production, for you to be able to make money in farming, you need 12 numbers. But reducing your space does not guarantee 12 numbers. Do you know that? Having a small space so that you can have high population of crop or so that you can have as many crop as, as possible, you're not uh, uh, doing justice with the crop. Doesn't guarantee you many fruit. Doesn't guarantee you a good crop. Uh, for example, in watermelon farming, we usually, I usually tell farmers, do a space of two meters to three meters. And this is determined by one, the soil that you're using. In case it's red soil, we usually go for three meters. If you have a smaller space, smaller than that, you're in trouble because the soil is always good for watermelon. That means they enjoy the environment and everything. To an extent, they come scrambling to the space. They fail to, 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 uh, to have a space to, uh, to set their fruit. Then they struggle to get the food. And now the fruit that's at a set becomes smaller all because of spacing. So you need to have a good space for you to be a successful farmer or to be succeed in what you're doing. Like for example, this farmer uh, that you're here has done a very small space of around uh, one and a half meters. One and a half meters. You can see how there is a good crop cover in this, um, in this farm, but still it's a disaster. It's a disaster because you've seen the fruit have not yet started setting, but the, the, the crop has already interjoined itself. It's struggling for space. It's struggling for, 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 for uh, nutrition. It's struggling for everything. But uh, because we are here, that is not a problem. If the space is low, we have to increase now the nutritional value of um, the crop. We have to do the pruning to reduce some vines in this farm. If, you, if there is a video I did about pruning, you can go back and check how pruning it's done. Because that's, that's another big topic. So this having a small space becomes disastrous and also doesn't guarantee you as many fruit as possible and doesn't guarantee you success when it comes to a farming. Have a good space, especially for watermelon, 2 meters to 3 meters. 3 meters is the best for you to give the vines where they sleep a space, for you to give a space where they feed because this is a, uh, the mouth of the watermelon and you're going to succeed without failure to that. You'll complain about the seed. You complain about uh, high cost of uh, watermelon farming. You complain about poor market, all because you produced less with much. And when you went to the market, the market never favored you. Always produce more with less. And when you go to the market, if the market has zero prices, it will always favor you because you have numbers. If this is your first video you're watching, don't forget subscribe to this channel for you to learn for you to be able to get different skills when it comes to farming bye